my camera rig really helps with the filming of these videos. But if I'm shooting from behind, the mic is not always in the best place. I usually balance it on some spring clamps, but I think it's now time to build a proper mount that is quick, efficient, easy to use and fit for purpose. I start by cutting up some 3mm birch ply to length and then into small strips. I round over the sides, but I leave the ends till later. Using some scrap wood, I build a jig to help with the drilling. I just need to find the centre line of the strip. With the jig on the drill press, I can now accurately drill a hole in the centre of all the strips. Moving the jig over, I use the centre hole as a guide to drill the outer holes. The bolt through the middle of the strips lines them up on the jig so both the outer holes are the same distance from the centre. Now I'm making another quick jig, this time for the disc sander. Izzy Swan would be proud of me. The pieces are finished off with a light sanding, just to remove any burn marks or burrs left from the disc sander. I bought a pack of 100 M5 bolts a while ago for a project. I only needed four, so I've got 96 to play with. I'll just shorten some of them. The piece of basking tape stuck on the vise is just a rough guide to help me cut them down. It's always useful to thread a nut onto the bolt before cutting as this can be removed afterwards to help straighten out the thread again. It just makes the job easier later on. I start the assembly by fixing pairs of strips together at the center and then join these up to make the scissors section. I 
I removed this mountain bracket from an old flash gun I had in the loft and with a little bit of tweaking I think I can make this work. Drilling out this plastic insert will just leave me with the metal bracket which is the piece that I want. Just got to fit the bracket and just got to um, oh. That was heavy. Sorted. The patras is made from an offcut of plywood and it gives me a good excuse to play on the lathe. Nothing fancy but practical. One of the magnets on this tray was already loose so I just liberated the others. And using five minute epoxy stuck them to the back of the... stuck them to the back... stuck... Oh. Five kilos and ten minutes later, I stuck them to the back of the patras. I know what it looks like, but I haven't been drinking. I'm just fighting the magnetic field, trying to take control of this spanner. <laughs> Honestly. Quick design change. I swapped out every other bolt for a longer one so I could add a penny washer. Then I made more sparks and cut them down to size. The microphone cable now fits neatly under the washers and with a little hot glue just to hold it in place, the jobs are good and I picked up this galvanised metal sheet from the local builders merchants. It's just the right size and it's easy to drill once you've clouted it with a centre punch to make a start.
This project turned out better than I'd hoped. The magnetic grip is well strong enough and by adjusting the lock nuts down the centre on the crossovers I can get just the amount of resistance I need to make it firm but easy to move. The Heath Robinson affair with the flash gun mount, that worked a treat. Moving the microphone from one mount to another is now easy and hassle free. I also added some magnets to one of my work lights, so this will come in handy. Jobs are good and 